Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Want to come to you today from in front of the White House here uh, to talk to you about a Freedom Convoy 2022 moving across America right now. This is just my opinion on it. And, uh, you know, if you've got a different, different opinion, by all means, leave it in the comments. Just be, be civil about it because, uh, you know, I look at the uh, YouTube comment section like my house. Uh, if you come in there talking a bunch of smack, I'll grab you by the throat and throw you out the front door if I have to. But uh, if you want to come in and, you know, speak your piece, I'm more more welcome. Uh, I welcome that. So let's talk about the Freedom Convoy real quick. Uh, when they first kicked this off and started talking about it, I was like, wow, they're just copying exactly what Canada was just doing. But um, the more I see of it and the more I watch about it, the more I'm impressed by it. I'll be honest with you. It seems like they're very organized. Um, you know, I see some people I'm watching on YouTube doing live streams from the Freedom Convoy, and uh, it seems like they're very well organized. You know, they're communicating through the CB very well, like things you would expect truckers to be good at. They're they're doing a pretty good job of it. Um, so I kind of I'm kind of getting behind it now. You know, um, more the more I learn about it, you know, I never really was like, oh, they shouldn't do this, but I kind of was a little critical of it. And I was thinking, hey, if you really want to protest, uh, you know, don't go blocking up traffic. You know, go sit at the house and protest that way. Uh, because I think we need the the American public behind us. I don't think we need to pee, you know, make everybody mad. So the more I thought about it, the more I see about it, uh, I kind of changed my tone on that a little bit because, you know, sometimes if you're going to make an egg, you got to crack an omelet or two. You know, you got to you got to make some people mad. And, um, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of for, uh, you know, being against the mandates. My personal opinion, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. But I don't expect you to wear a mask for me. Uh, and also vaccination, same way. If you want to get vaccinated for yourself and your family and your well-being, by all means, get the vaccination. If you don't want it, I don't think it should be forced on you to go do your job, especially as a trucker. I mean, how much do, are we really interacting with the public here, you know? Um, and also, I think you take the risk. If you don't get it, you don't wear a mask, you take the risk, you deal with it. I think most people are cool with that. So I'm kind of for it. You know, I say with the mandates, you know, I'm a heterosexual male. I don't need your mandate. You know, I don't date men. I, nothing against you if that's your thing, but it's not my thing. So you can keep your mandates. Uh, but I think I'm supporting the convoy. The more and more I watch of it, um, you know, uh, the people I'm watching on YouTube, they've got some ways to donate to some cash apps if you want to give them some money. I'm not 100% against it. I'll be honest with you. Um it's a better way of doing it than giving it to this GoFundMe because we've seen how that worked in Canada. And if you're going to do this protest thing, you've got to organize it better. And this one seems to be very well organized. They've got a plan. They're very, you know, particular about what they're protesting. And I like that. And I'm all for a peaceful protest. If there's something that needs to be changed, uh, by all means, peace, peaceful protest away. One thing I will say, though, is I, I do wish the American public knew, uh, I wish the leaders would put it out there more that they, the people of the Freedom Convoy do not represent all truckers. They represent the truckers that support them and the ones that are protesting with them. That doesn't mean every trucker is on board with this. So with that being said, uh, check out some YouTube channels. Just, you know, search Freedom Convoy Lives. I know Asian Mai is going to be up there uh covering it so that'll be awesome there's a couple other truckers that are doing a real good job covering it um just you know check them out uh some of them have got like five thousand people watching their live stream it's pretty amazing um i've passed part of the convoy up in um like pennsylvania massachusetts area they were coming down going to dc pretty decent amount of trucks i'd say probably 50 to 100 trucks i saw um a lot of people standing on the bridges supporting it. You know, it's a, it's a nice to see people that maybe aren't truckers coming in and supporting the truckers because I think that's what we need more than we need anything. We need the public on our side right now because, you know, like I put out a video a couple weeks ago and it got a lot of views, 
but it got views like outside of the trucking industry. And I think so many people are just naive to the trucking industry in general. You know, a lot of people didn't even realize we sleep in the truck if we're OTR. You know, a lot of people asking me like, uh, you know, if you leave your truck running overnight, uh, aren't you afraid someone's going to steal it? And I'm like, well, no, I sleep back there. I'm pretty cool. Nobody's going to steal it. Um, you know, and they just think we're a bunch of, you know, uh, polluting, cussing, you know, people that, you know, have no regard for this country when in fact it's quite the opposite. Um, you know, we get to see more of the country. Uh, we appreciate it more, I think, than the average citizen because we get to see all the beauty and all the different people and the different areas and how just the country works. If you want to know how this country works, go become a trucker. You will see very quickly, you know, the differences in the areas of the country. But at the end of the day, we're all American. You know what I mean? Like you can go from the Northeast to the Southwest and all the way in between, you know, we're all American. And I think if we can just get behind that, that's a good starting point. But as far as the Freedom Convoy goes, uh, the more I learn about it, the more I'm kind of on board with it. Um, you know, I'm not 100% in, involved with it. I'm not joining it with my truck. I don't think it's a good idea to put your equipment into a situation where the government could start, you know, doing things to negatively, negatively affect my business because my business is my business. I can't jeopardize that. But if you feel like the government jeopardized your business by putting all these mandates out, then by all means, you got to go protest it. Um, and I support that. As long as we keep it peaceful, don't block too many roads. I mean, I know you got to cause a little bit of a stink to get, you know, recognized. Uh, I get that part of it. And that's kind of why I'm like a little bit more lenient on that right now, because a lot of these protests, like where they used to do the slow rolls, you know, they get on uh, 465 in Indianapolis and go, 30 miles an hour or whatever, you know, unorganized, just to me that that's not the way you get things done. But this protest, I'm surprised and I'm pleased by it. Seems like they got their crap together. Seems like they're doing a good job keeping it organized and peaceful. And I can support that. So that's what I think about it, guys. Like I said, leave it down in the comments. If you agree or disagree with me, let me know what you think about it. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Um, and uh, that's all I got, guys. Cash reporting live from the White House, 2022. They said, uh, "Go to the, go to the White House with all the bull crap." And I showed up here, so that's uh, that's the way I seen it. But anyway, guys, take care of each other. Until later.